Human Flow is a book trying to reflect humanity in the refugee crisis. Byzantine intersectionality is a history of sexuality, gender, and race in the Middle Ages. It's a way of using the past to break free from the present. Dissimilar Similitudes is a collection of essays that deals with the problem of likeness in two ways. First, with a theoretical consideration of comparison across cultures, and then in a series of case studies of medieval devotional objects and how they refer to the things of heaven. Survey, research, and marvel at a thousand years of Buddhist painting and sculpture through the lens of photographers who captured the Dunhuang Caves in the mid-1940s and created images of lyrical beauty. The Thief Who Stole My Heart focuses on India's most exquisite sacred bronzes and their interaction with the people of their times. Watermarks is about Leonardo's lifelong investigation of water. It's also about how art helps us see nature and indeed shape the natural world around us. My book uses a novel blend of social scientific and art historical methods to address long-standing questions about canon formation and the effects of industrialization, gender, and empire on the history of art. The Place of Many Moods is about the art of painting the most enchanting moods of a place developed by artists from Udaipur that reveals the emotions and ecologies, politics and pleasures at the cusp of British colonialism. Enchantments, Joseph Cornell and American Modernism, explores the artist's attempts to capture the enchanted power of everyday life and his place within the cultural, political, and artistic debates of mid-century America. Piranesi Unbound. The Wall Street Journal calls it charmingly wonkish. This book tells the story of how activist artists of Mexican descent in the United States spawned an influential graphic arts movement attuned to social justice. My book, Rarities of These Lands, is a new account of 17th century Dutch art and material culture, written with an eye to the politics of early modern globalism. My book is the first fully documented English language biography of the Spanish artist Francisco Goya y Lucientes. The history that's been told of mid-century modernism is mostly white, but in fact lots of people were buying and using modern design in the post-war years. I looked at Ebony magazine in the 1950s and I discuss all of the modernism I found there in my book.